Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm back getting with another reaction video. Today we got The Patriot from the year 2000. All I know about this movie is that it stars Mel Gibson and Heath Ledger and that it takes place during the Revolutionary War. Now, I'm super excited to get into this movie because I haven't seen many war movies that actually take place during the Revolutionary War, and even the Civil War for that matter. Um, I've seen a lot of mainstream movies nowadays being made about World War I, World War II, and even the Vietnam War, and other wars that take place during the 20th century. Now, not a lot of movies, especially nowadays, tackle the focus of the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. Now, I'm super excited to get into that for that reason. But before we get into this, I just want to say if you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button, like button, turn on post notifications. If you guys want to see the full length reactions, I do have my join memberships up on the channel. As of right now, my highest tier, you guys will be able to see the full length reactions. I have them linked to my Google Drive account, so you guys will be able to see them from that. So without further ado, I'm super excited to get into this. So let's go. I'm already liking the feel of this movie. Feels very gritty. I can already tell this movie is gonna like start off all calm and peaceful and it's just gonna hit the dirt so quick. Oh, I didn't even notice the transition. Though many seasons have passed, it seems like only yesterday when we last saw each other in Charlestown. Sack Gabriel. We're gonna have to fight them off. Oh jeez, right there. I knew this wasn't going to be taken lightly. I knew something bad was going to happen. <clears throat> Dude, I have a feeling he's about to go crazy. Bro, that kid's like six. One kid's like six and he's asking him to kill an enemy. I mean, I, I don't know what he's feeling right now. I mean, they just killed his older brother, so... That's still crazy to ask a kid of that age to do something like that. To the right! Fire! Reload! Reload! <laughs> That's why I had all the rifles. I sent them all up. Jesus, dude. He can't look at him the same after what he did to that dude with the tomahawk. Go without saying that. God save King George. <laughs> I think we came to the right place. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> I'm pleased that you like it. He recognized him. I'm sure he did. <laughs> no way. I actually thought that they had 
That's great. I actually thought that they had officers. Oh, why wouldn't he go down there? He's gonna get caught. Seven homes along the Santee so far. Something happened to his family. Families. That's crazy. Dude, I just got I just got Star Wars Return of the Jedi vibes from that. I don't know if I showed it or not, but I did. I have a feeling all oh, this is gonna go south really quick. That's that's all I can feel this movie. Like if something if something happy or good is happening to some of these characters, I just feel like something's gonna go wrong. Mm. Why are they there? Wait. This man gives Martin and his men supplies. Quiet. He brings them to Black Swan. He's a liar. You damn in the marsh fool. by the old Spanish mission. You said we'd be forgiven. And it's did you man. That's between you and God. Cow. Burn the church. <sighs> That's crazy, dude. I knew something bad was gonna happen to them too. Give me the torch. Gabriel's gone. That didn't kill him. I really didn't expect that. But dude, his acting in this movie is crazy good. Mel Gibson, he's he's such an underrated actor, especially like nowadays. I mean, I know like he's gotten into some scandals and some controversial yeah, stuff, but like back in the days, like of these okay. movies, haven't. Granted, I haven't seen a lot of his movies from these days. But just if this is any, any indication of what his performances are like in his other movies, I mean, really good actor. Benjamin. Ooh. Oh, they're waiting for him. Oh, there's the tomahawk. I was wondering where you, where it was all moving. You're right. My sons were better men. Nice. I thought it was actually gonna kill him for a second. They showed up. Sweet. People of France. 
<laughs> he still has the dogs with him. I didn't even notice. What a good ending. Assuming this is the ending. I'm glad it turned out a good ending. Yeah, especially for a movie like that. That was good. That was a really good movie. All right, guys, it's now the next day. I decided to do this review a day later, not only because it was four in the morning whenever I was finishing that movie, but because I think I had to reflect a little bit more upon my reactions. I think I need to um, start doing that in my reaction videos whenever I do review the movies at the end. I think I need to give it a little bit more time to just sink in and think about what happened in the movie and what my true thoughts were. So from now on, I'm gonna do that. But it's now the next day, finish the movie. And I really, I really liked that movie. I thought that was a really, really good movie. Um, if it's any indication of what his performance is like in Braveheart, um, I haven't filmed my Braveheart reaction yet, but I'm probably gonna film that in the next couple of days now because I'm super excited to see what his performance is like. But Mel Gibson did an absolutely amazing job in this movie. I can't, I can't believe that he's he slept on the way he is nowadays. I mean, I understand that he's gotten into some controversial stuff. Um, I know he said some stuff um, in the past 20 years that's kind of ruined his career in Hollywood. But um, I wonder if he made a movie like this nowadays, um, if it would, if his his performance would um, come through just as it did in this movie. I mean, if it if it did, that would be absolutely amazing. I'd be very curious to see what his performance like this would be like in a movie nowadays. So really enjoyed his performance and I couldn't stop laughing at certain points in the movie you guys will probably see that in my full-length reactions if you guys want to check that out but I couldn't stop laughing because I kept remembering to myself that Heath Ledger is the Joker and I just couldn't see it in this movie um, this is one of the only other movies that I've seen Heath Ledger in I know he's been in a ton of other stuff but this is one of the only ones that I've seen him in besides the Dark Knight so it was kind of weird to see him um, not being the Joker and a completely different persona and a completely different time period it was just super super weird so i kept i kept laughing at that i thought it was pretty funny but other than that all the other actors did a really good job all the adult actors and all the child actors did a really good job too usually um child actors in movies um certain movies um are a little bit cheesy and they're kind of dull but in this movie they did a really really good job i think they all handled their parts really well i thought the villain in the movie was really really menacing he was really really scary at some points in the movie like whenever he went to go invade the ant's house and try to kill the kids i thought something bad was going to happen to the kids just because how dark it was up until that point and throughout the whole movie I, it was really really dark so i thought something bad was going to happen to those kids but he did a really good job that actor um if i'm not mistaken i think his name is jason isaacs because i think that he is in harry potter i haven't seen any of the harry potter movies um i've read all the books um i've seen some scenes from the movies but those are probably going to be movies that i'm going to have to react to next um i have seen some some scenes from the deathly hallows part one and two but I've read all the books, really enjoyed the books, so I think it's time for me to watch the movies. But I was um, planning on doing reactions a while back, so I was like, I'll wait to watch the movies. But that's for a later date. But I think that he plays um, one of the Malfoys in the movies. I'm not exactly sure. He might play a Death Eater um, as well, or he might even play a Sirius Black. I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I know him from... Star Wars Rebels, because I know he plays the main Inquisitor in season one and two. I think season season one. I think it's just season one that the the main Inquisitor is in. Then he shows back up um, in season at the end of season two at the uh, Jedi Temple, the Sith Temple during the flashback. But anyway, back to this movie. He did an amazing job in this movie. Um, really menacing villain, and I felt myself really scared of him at some points and scared for some of the characters. I'm really glad I started watching these kind of movies, these uh, late 90s, early 2000s classic movies. Um, Shawshank Redemption is now my favorite movie of all time. Green Mile is up there with some of my favorite movies. And this one is really, really good. Not quite up there, but I really enjoyed this one. This one was really, really good. And I'm glad I finally watched it. I put this up in the polls a few weeks ago. You guys voted on it, so it was the next movie in line. The next one I think I have is either Gladiator or Braveheart. I'm going to have to check on that one. But this one was actually suggested by my dad because this is one of his favorite movies. So I'm glad I finally watched this. But I really did enjoy this movie, and I'm super excited to hop into all these other movies. So without further ado, I'm going to leave it there. hope you guys did enjoy this reaction video if you guys did please hit that subscribe button like button turn on post notifications
notifications if you guys are interested in seeing the full length reaction i do have my join memberships up on the channel as of right now if you guys do become a vip member um you guys will be able to get links to the full length reactions on my google drive account you guys will have access to all of those so far so without further ado i'm going to leave it there i'll see you guys next time